A large number of the nation's children did not show up for face-to-face -face classes for the first week of the new term, which started on January 3. Education Minister Favel Williams updated the House of Representatives. The data gathered for the period January 3 to 7, which was the first week of school, showed that 60% of students in the public school system reported to school via one or more of the learning modalities available. They were involved in orientation activities, psychosocial and empowerment sessions, assessment and other learning activities on a rotational basis. The data we have collected as of today suggests that roughly 40% of students did not access any of the learning modalities available for the first week of school. We are expecting to see this number decline significantly as more of our students return to the face-to-face -face in the weeks ahead. The minister reported that 954 schools have been deemed COVID compliant. Meaning there has been a physical reinspection of our schools for COVID, COVID as well as non-COVID issues. A COVID compliant school has wash stations or sinks where the children have easy access to wash their hands, distance markers to make the students aware of how far apart to stand or sit from each other, an isolation room with its own bathroom facilities in the event a child shows up with runny nose, coughing or with a fever, that child can be isolated until, until medical help arrives. Mrs. Williams says her team will be utilizing the Yard to Yard Find the Child initiative to reconnect students to schools. She says the ministry continues to use various measures to increase take-up of the coronavirus vaccine among students, including staging blitzes at school. We seek the help of all Jamaicans, but in particular the parents and guardians, to help to keep our children safe. We're pleading with parents who have children in our primary schools for whom there is no vaccine at this time in Jamaica for them. Please seek to get yourselves vaccinated so that you can provide protection for yourself and for your children. To the parents of high school students, we ask that you have a conversation with your children. Encourage them to take the vaccines. And I give the same encouragement to all our principals, our teachers, our staff, and all who work in the school environment and have to interact with our children. Help us to protect them so that they have the opportunity to the, recover the learning they have lost. 